We are going to do a translation using patty paper to demonstrate what happens. Patty paper is the paper in between hamburger patties. Remember that a translation is a slide and that we are going parallel. Slide parallel. You need to start with the patty paper. I did six by six. And so you draw a triangle, whatever shape you want to use. I go triangle because there's only three points. And a vector. A vector is an arrow. It shows us how far and what direction. So now we take another piece of patty paper, put it on top, and trace exactly what we have there on the underneath. So trace the other triangle. Be better if you actually did it with a straight edge, but it's hard to get a straight edge underneath here. And trace the other dots. All right. So what we need to do, and the arrow, is a slide. So we slide it up the arrow to the other dot. That is a translation. We've taken from the distance. We've taken this dot up the arrow, along the underneath arrow, up to the end of it. So that went the distance. And since we slid right along underneath, that is the direction. So that is our translation. If we were to draw in like we had the original, then if we do what I call connect the twins, doing a straight edge would be better, but again, getting a straight edge under here is difficult. Connect the twins. It looks like we have a 3D shape. So if you do it right, you can kind of connect the twins and make it look like a prism. So again, you want to trace. You want to start with a shape and a vector. You want to trace the triangle and get the beginning dot at least. Slide the dot along the line that's underneath up to the end. And there is our where our translation went to.